Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to the O and D Life. Uh, today for our interview, we have Ken with Bolt On Hooks. A lot of you might know him and have seen him making guest appearances over there with Tractor Time with Tim. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get a scoop from him. I didn't tell him, but I'm gonna try and get a <laughs> scoop from him. Uh, get some dirt on Tim. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> So what welcome Ken and uh you know I want to give you a second I, for those that don't know uh bolt on hooks these are the hooks that I have on my bucket and it really transformed the utility of my tractor and the bucket um just really makes it a lot more versatile and so highly recommended but I'm going to I don't want to steal Ken's thunder I'm going to let him <laughs> tell you a little bit about uh himself and and his his products here take it away Kim. well thank you gary for the opportunity we really do appreciate that um so i uh i uh worked in the communication field for 32 plus years still do that uh actually full time and have this hobby business that has become a full-time business now actually so i'm looking to retire um and do this full time um it all started back in 2011 um I have a little story on the on the website about it but a guy on one of the tractor forums had uh had made a comment that nobody made these grab hooks that bolted on they all had to be welded on so i uh i had some grab hooks laying around and i had some scrap steel and i drilled some holes in it and welded a hook to a plate and um and that's where it all started um hmm. we we started uh making them you know we're selling them just to a few guys on the tractor forums and it got bigger and bigger and bigger uh, i used to weld them all myself um, in my garage um, and we had them all tested um, that's all the videos are on the website from the original testing that we did um, and uh it got so big and so time consuming i actually found a a semi-local company in Pennsylvania to uh, weld them for me on a robot. So it's all my specs, my design, they date to proprietary to me. And um, so while the hooks themselves, the actual forged hook is imported because uh, nobody makes the forgings in the United States, unfortunately, um, for now, we're actually looking at a, we're actually talking to a forge in Pennsylvania to actually have them forged for us so we don't have to import them anymore but uh, all the welding and the steel that the plates are made out of is all done in made in the usa and all the welding and the plating and the fabrication is all done here in the usa and uh, we uh we strive for quality control as much as we can um so over the years we've added a lot of accessories for various tractors not just people People think I just do John Deere's, but I do a lot of stuff with Kubota's and many other brands. Um, the, uh, the hooks go on just about anything. We, we have a lot of specific Kubota stuff because they have some really odd buckets, uh, unfortunately. that makes it a little difficult to have a universal hook for the Kubota stuff. But our accessories are universal. We... Uh, so we just built the new website as we were discussing and uh i was surprised to find out that we have uh, about 96 products on the website which, which once, you pretty start, fascinating. <laughs> once you start putting them all on there you realize golly we do have a lot of stuff huh <laughs> yeah yeah um so i know you're kubota specific so i'll talk a little bit about the kubota stuff so well um, it, one of the biggest issues we had go ahead it, I, what I can do is I can pull up the website and um, we can kind of have okay. that on there okay. at the same time. Let me uh, share my screen. Awesome. Yeah, I, so, yeah, I think uh, a lot of people are visual, um, kind of right. like myself, and it, it helps yeah. to see it. So, so the, Kub the Kubotas are a little challenging in that. Now, see, I, you must have it zoomed in. I guess that's why the menu's like that. Usually the menu's on the left side. Okay, um, it might. But that'll be. work. Yeah, um, but that'll work. So, uh, so Kubota has two two styles of buckets. They have the traditional pinned on bucket, which unfortunately they still sell, and they have the uh, the skid steer or quick attach 
what they call two lever quick connect. Um, so start with the start with the pin on bucket there, Garrett, if you don't mind. Okay. You click on that. So the Kubota buckets have a, a lip that turns up. Um, if you, you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see you'll see that uh, yeah they have that lip that turns up. So we uh, we started welding this steel spacer to the bottom of the hooks to get it above that lip, um, and we ended up having to do six different size spacers to accommodate mm -hmm. all the various Kubota buckets. So that's a lot of inventory we we keep to do all that. Um, and on the instructions, so you'll see, if you scroll down just a little bit more, you'll see them all lined up there. We have, uh, you know, we have six different sizes going from inch and seven sixteenths up to two and 13 sixteenths. Um, and we supply, you know, all the hardware obviously, you know, and, and we have two different options for underneath a, a just a blank plate or what we call a clevis or a pad eye to go underneath. Um, they've, you know, as that little story tale there tells, it's proven to be a super strong setup. I've never had anybody, um, you know, say that they've bent their bucket or anything. Um, so it's it's a little bit a uh, little bit funny to install because you gotta project the holes through that spacer and get them yeah. lined up. So there's the option one with just a blank plate. Um, if you know, if you don't find value in the pad eye or the shack, you know, the shackles underneath. Um, and so we, we have instructions here on how to measure your bucket on the website. And we have a little video of an install that we did. And, and there's a few other on the web. Garrett, I think, did one. And, and there's a few other out there if you search, um, you know, YouTube. But um, the, uh, the trick is to measuring and get the right size. Um, we have a lot of customers that have measured wrong or... Um, didn't quite understand how to do it right. And, you know, we've had to swap out the sizes and that gets a little expensive with the shipping back and forth. Um, here's a little, you know, a little detail on, you know, how we're going to measure it. And, and then that yeah. little video um, also shows a quick little trick with just a piece of cardboard. Uh, a lot of people email me uh, almost daily and ask me, you know, I have such and such loader. What hooks do I need? And, and I'm hesitant to answer that because if I'm wrong, then it's on me to to swap them out, you know, pay the return shipping and reshipping. Um, right. And and there have been some inconsistencies in the buckets, so I want I want the customer to verify the size. Um, that's that's pretty important to get it right the first time. Um, and then that makes sense. That makes sense. That that way it, it saves them trouble as well. Yeah, exactly. Um, Not, and then, the, yep. Yeah, a few things are more frustrating. Yeah, and then you can't use it. You got to wait another week or, or, you know, 10 days to try to get it resolved. And, um, right. and we're, you know, it's frustrating for us because we got to take time away from current orders to, you know, to satisfy it. And, um, so that pretty much covers the pinned on buckets. Um, then for Kubota specific, we have the... Uh, the quick attach, which is uh, more and more models are coming with that, which is you know, I'm glad to see for guys that want because, you know, grapples are so popular now and forks are so popular now. And so um, Kubota makes about four or five different quick attach buckets and each one is detailed here. We have a, you know, a little section showing pictures. Um, and this is one of the newer products here that we have. The um, what we call the square back bucket. There was a, a, a big issue with these buckets. Um, quite often, when drilling the holes, uh, if you look under that bucket, there's a there's a seam there from the the thinner metal that, from the lip that turns up to that heavy plate, and the holes were splitting that seam, so the washers weren't sitting flat. Uh, and, and it was still structurally strong. It, it wasn't, you know but a lot of people weren't comfortable with it. And, and with the help of a, a customer actually, who, who uh, shared his little idea with me. And uh, we, uh, we started having the little, the little shim pieces laser cut and, uh, and plated. So now we include that with, um, you know, with the, the hooks and a little bit longer bolts for that setup. 
So that's been really successful. We sell a lot of those. There's a lot of these square back buckets on the, the B series tractors, like the yeah. LA uh, 525 loader is one I can think of. And um, so that, that's been a very successful product there. Um, that's pretty, pretty Kubota specific. And we offer the hooks or the clevises. Everything has to mount on top on this bucket. You don't really get the option to have the, the, the clevis underneath because there's a dead space under there. If you scroll down a little bit more, you'll see the, 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 uh, the other pictures there. So like, yeah, so you'll see that bottom picture there. If you click on that, that'll expand just that. Um, yeah. Click on that one here. Yeah. So you'll see that space there. Um, yeah. You know, so you can't really have anything underneath there. Uh, that's, but that's I have a not, lot. Of, yeah. That's not the, that's not the inside of the bucket, like on mine. Right. Right. I exactly. See. Exactly. So what a lot of guys have done is um, who wanted the option to have a shackle on the inside to like strap brush in or whatever is they've taken one of the, the clevis mounts and just mounted it to the roof of the bucket um, mm -hmm. with a backing plate separate from the hook. Uh, and, and, you know, so it's just a lot of, you know, people always say, well, what do I need? What, what, what should I buy? And I'm like, well, you know, it's uh, I don't know how you use your machine. So I can't really tell you buy this, you know, because everybody uses their machines differently. And some people just, want one hook in the center. Some people want three hooks. Some people want just hooks on the outside. It's that's why we have all the options just to let the customer make the choice there. So those, uh, those hooks are sold right there. If you scroll down just a little bit more, those hooks are sold right there. And they, you know, they're, they're $4 more than the other ones because we're, we're, we're including that laser cut, um, you know, that shin material, it's three sixteenths of an inch thick. And, uh, and it's plated. We have it plated, so you don't have to worry about it rusting. Um, and then we get into the, the other options here. So this is a round back bucket that is on some larger machines. And this can actually use the regular hooks that we sell, um, that, you know, the same hooks that fit the John Deere's and the Mahindra's and all that. They just, because they're, they're going to bolt on right behind that round tube across the top. So they're okay. just the regular hooks work with that one. And then a little further down, we have yet another another version um this is what so this is a what they call a square back heavy duty bucket Kubota actually calls it that um and they have a little reinforcement plate there so we used the regular hooks and clevis mounts there and it's bolted through two pieces of steel there so it's really strong for the larger uh, uh some of the m series tractors have have that style bucket on it um, yeah. and yet, and there's, uh, there's still yet one more that's free, fairly new, I guess in the past year, year and a half, maybe is the little subcompacts on the, uh, I see, I, I have it listed there, the 1880 and the 2380 and the 2680 and the 20, yeah, the, I'm trying to read it now. 23, uh, 20, 23 S. Yeah. So these, these are an interesting bucket. These are, have a skid steer bucket with the quick lever, but there's no place to mount any other hooks um, on those reinforcement plates. So we actually recommend the spacer hooks there, the, the ones with the two and 13, 16 spacer hmm. to go on there. Um, so it's a little confusing with all the options, but we really do. We really try to spell it out very clearly for all the options there, and have all the pictures and, um, you know, eh, people still email all the time and I direct them to look at the website. You know, they, they tell me I have X, Y, Z bucket. Well, send me, send me a picture so I can see it. You know, I, I <laughs> you know, all the, all, they're all detailed here, but, um, and so we and, do our best. To yeah. Say, and so, I mean, ultimately they've got to know their machine just a right. little bit, um, right. more than, uh, right than usual to get the proper fit. And right. Proper right. And I get a lot of people, a lot of people will say, Hey, I, you know, my tractor's up at my hunting camp or whatever, you know, I, I want to get the right hook so I can take it up there next weekend. And I, I'm just, I'm hesitant to, I'm hesitant to recommend anything in case I'm wrong. You know, I don't want to sell the customer the wrong thing. That's, that's frustrating. Right. So that, that that's um, understandable. That's, but so at the same time, are, 
Yeah. Sometimes it is what it is, isn't it? Right. So for the Kubota guys, we have uh, we also have another product. Um, if you take and go to the uh, to the ROPS clamp page, we developed these ROPS clamps over the last couple of years, um, and they're they're machined out of uh, you know machined out of aluminum, and they're um, they fit a two by two or a two by three ROPS. Uh, which a lot of tractors have and, and tractors and uh, zero turn mowers and all. I don't know. Some, I'm getting a lot of text messages. I don't know if you're hearing that dinging sound or not, but no. that's what that is. <laughs> so, yeah. so these, these help you mount light bars and other accessories to the tractors without having to drill or modify or weld onto the rocks. Um, they Wait. just simply clamp, they just simply clamp on. Um, and if you've been on any tractor forums, that's a big. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is big. Uh, what is it? Mode of contention. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Drilling yeah, into yeah. a rocks. Oh yeah. So well, there's a lot of dealers and uh, Messix. Everybody's heard of Messix Kubota. You know they. Um, Neil yes. actually has a video on this that if you trade in a tractor at his dealership that has a modified ROPS, they will deduct the price of a new ROPS from the trade-in because they will not resell it that way with a modified ROPS. Right. Right. So, so, so I kept getting emails about from Kubota people saying, Hey, my, and I went to the big tractor show last year and, and uh, anybody's heard of the national farm machinery show in Kentucky. Uh, when we went there last year, and I measured a bunch of different tractors, you know, just to see before we actually had these on the market. And mm -hmm. everything I measured was two by two or two by three. So we released the, this, we released the product, you know, it was very successful. And I kept, I started getting all these emails from some Kubota guys that have the little, I'm not sure which even, what even models they are, but they kept saying, I have a one and a half by three ROPS. Hmm. So are you going to make anything for that? Well, what we decided to do instead of making another clamp because it's expensive for the R and D and the, you know, to have machine work done and all for basically a few, a few tractors that have that one by three. If you yeah. scroll down, um, if you scroll down to the third choice there, we, uh, we, we uh, bought this. Uh, so right there, one by one and a half by three, we bought this heavy rubber sheeting. Um, quarter inch thick uh, neoprene rubber, so it's uh, it's UV rated. It won't deteriorate. It's very good stuff. Um, and we we cut it into little sections to fill in the to fill in the space. If you click on that, if you, if you click on the select options here, we can look at the pictures. Oh, okay. Bit. Yeah, it'll take you to that. Um, so that that was our solution. Um, if you pick select one of the other pictures, you can probably zoom in and see the little uh, piece of rubber in there. So we include two of those and that'll, um, yeah, there's a, okay. yeah, so I right, right where your mouse there. is, yeah, there's a piece of rubber there on the top and the bottom that'll take up that extra space. Um, you know, it might not be the sexiest solution, but it's, 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 it's very functional. Um, and it, we've had great, great success with it. So we have, there you can see it there pretty good too. Yeah. A little rubber there between the, yeah. So it takes up that, you know, the two quarter inch pieces there take up the extra half inch of space. So, uh, so that's, you know, we've been selling those to a lot of the Kubota guys. Um, yeah. I did not even realize you had that. I am. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's been a, so we have guys that have, uh, that mounted toolboxes with them and fire extinguisher, fire, I can't even say it. <laughs> you know, things that put fires out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fire Water. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, little shovels, um, stuff like that. You know, we, we've had uh, customers do that. So um, it just gives okay. you an option instead of, like you said, drilling. Or some guys were using um, uh, to mount light, light bars. They were using hose clamps or like the square U-bolts that you can mm -hmm. buy. But they're they're really ugly, and they're <laughs> I don't know. Some people don't care about ugly, or you know, I mean, they're utilitarian, and that's fine. But some people like a little better looking solution. Um, right. These don't have 
these all the corners are rounded on these so they're not really sharp like you know they don't have an extra piece of bulb sticking out after you know of a of a u-bolt or whatever and they're all anodized aluminum so they won't rust the hardware is stainless steel um so and, yeah. and we 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 found a company to help us machine them and all and um we you know so the price i think the price i think is pretty good for for what you're getting with the stainless steel hardware and all uh, yeah and we beautiful. actually we're actually working on a patent for this we actually are trying to secure a design patent for this because there's nothing like that on the market so nice um, uh so that's and then one other thing that uh one of our newer products um it's i'm gonna have to show you the green version right now because i don't have the <laughs> one for the the other one but so a lot of people have the um the, the harbor freight quick hitches on their tractor so yes. go down to the uh go down to the quick hitch accessories qh accessories okay. there and right. then for now just select the eye match okay. um and uh so we developed these chain boxes that mount on the side of the eye match keep scrolling down and uh so i know a lot of the a lot of people have the harbor freight okay. um, so these boxes they just clamp onto the side of the uh the quick hitch now these are specific to the john deere eye match um but basically the we are working on one for the uh, harbor freight models and the imported quick hitches so uh, it'll it'll slide on and it, it'll it'll uh, screw onto it and it'll give you uh, just two you know one or two uh, extra places to store chains or tools or um, you know and we have these uh, this picture the picture on the left there is a little hard to see because of the tire I got to get a better picture but we have these clamps um, quick fist clamps that are made down in Nashville Tennessee and. Yeah. Uh, you know, you can hold uh, shovels or an axe or a rake or uh, various tools there in, on the outside. Um, and we're we're working on a chainsaw scabbard you can put on there to hold a chainsaw. Um, so we'll have. I hope to have within a within a couple months. I, I'll have the version for the Harbor Freight hitch and the imported hitches that a lot of the guys are running. Uh, so I, I just I have to show you the green one right now. <laughs> um, but you know, so if you yeah, you know, keep scrolling, there's a couple more, couple more okay. pictures there. So we also yeah. have um, we'll have optional lids for them, um, just like okay. we do that. It's an optional lid. Uh, most guys like the lids. Some guys don't see the value in the lids. But there's a picture of the clamps that'll mount on. Uh, it'll they'll mount on three sides of the box, and we include these special little. Uh, barrel bolts um, to uh, to mount them on, so there's there's no there's no bolt or nut sticking out inside the box to catch your chain or to to cut your hand on or anything. It's all smooth inside. Okay. Um, Is there a hole in the bottom for it to drain? Yeah, there's. So the bottom is only. The, the, the corners are cut out of the bottom. I don't have a picture on here. I really should put a picture. So and it even explains that in the in the description. The the bottom has just got four real heavy tack welds holding the bottom on. Um, okay. It's actually made out of one sheet of steel and it's folded. It's folded in a press to that oh. shape and then it's just tack welded. The bottom's just tack welded. So yeah, they're not they're not waterproof. Um, and I didn't want them to be because the more you try to make something waterproof, the more you get condensation or, you know, nothing's really waterproof. So they're designed to have airflow through them and, you know, that way, you, you know, they, it will dry and it will drain if you don't have the lids. Um, well, and I could see where dust would collect inside it. And so you want it to pass yeah. on through. Yeah. You know? And you want to be able to hose it out without having to take it off and dump it. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, chains get dirty. There's no <laughs> no doubt about that. Right. So, yeah, I'll have to get a better picture of the bottom of that. But the 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 quick hitch, for the, the the one for the imported hitches will look almost the same as that. They'll mount a little bit differently um, because of the shape of the hitch. But the but so they're uh, they're in the works. I've got some prototypes out being tested now. I got a few a few changes to make. That's something new we're carrying now. We're carrying um, we're carrying a complete bushing set. So I, I know um, you know like Tractor Supply has has um you know they sell the lower bushings 
but they don't have the top link. You got to piece together the top link bushings a lot right. of times. So we're offering a complete set for $30. Um, you know, so you can add to your, you know, whatever implement you have, if you need them, we're going to, um, we're going to come out with, I'm getting them delivered next week, actually. Um, so some implements, uh, have a clevis style lower thing, like a lot of box blades. So there's two, there's two pieces of steel that a pin goes through. So you mm -hmm. can't use those belled bushings. I, I maybe I'm not explaining it real well, but, um, we'll have the bushings for that style implement too soon. Um, okay. so we're trying to, we're trying to, you know, be like a one source for all this little stuff that's sometimes hard to find. So and, and you like go, you said, as a kit, so that way yeah. you're not piecing. Yeah. It takes together. a little bit of the guesswork out for, uh, you know, a lot of guys don't know that for the top link, you need a, like there's two bushings you need for the top link. You need a cat one to cat two and then a cat two to cat three for the, you know, and a lot of guys don't know that. So, right. You know, this is just one thing. Yeah. Boom. There you go. You got everything you need. Um, so for the imported hitches, if you go, um, go up, to the menu again and select the uh, quick hitch again and and uh, go to the imported one. Okay. So when I say imported, the, you know, Harbor Freight is the most popular one, but the a lot of people resell these under their own name. They're all made in the same factory. So yeah. this has been a super popular item here. Um, the extended hook. Uh, a lot of the hitches come with the hook the opening of the hook is too close to that frame. So uh, when you try to put like a box blade on or a landscape rake, it kind of binds up on the frame. So, so this hook sticks out five eighths of an inch further than the, than the original hook. And it helps clear. Um, it helps get the implement away from that little tower there that holds the hook. Um, I see. That, I've yeah. seen that on the forums where that's been a problem for some guys. Yeah, yeah, and some of the hitches are actually coming with those hooks now, the extended hooks. So that's why we added that little drawing up there for the dimensions, so you can compare. Um, yeah, you can, you know, it's, you know, that way you know how big our hook is. So, you know, you don't need to, you don't need to buy it to try it. You know, you can tell right there about those dimensions there. Um, right, and then also we have the pins there. Uh, you know, the, the, hitch, the hitches come, I don't know. Do you have a quick hitch on your tractor, Garrett? It, well, not, I have the, um, land pride one. Okay. Which, All right. Same and it's, <laughs> right, right, right. But it, it's not even adjustable for that top hook. So. Right. Right. So, yeah. So the Harbor Freight one comes with bolts to bolt that in. And, and that's fine. If you never have to move your hook, if you only have one implement or all your implements are the same, you know, leave the bolts in, you know, you don't need the pins, but some guys have a, you know, wide variety of implements and they need to move that hook all the time. So we, we have these pins custom machined for us. They're, uh, they're not off the shelf pitch pins. They fit nice. They've got these bow tie clips. Um, if you, I think there's a, you look, if you click on that picture, they'll get a little bit bigger, but those yeah. bow tie clips are, um, they're hard to get out. Um, yeah. and while that's a good thing and a bad thing, <laughs> <laughs> um, the good thing is that they won't come out accidentally. They won't get knocked out easily. Um, yeah. so there are, all those are made in the USA too. So, and that people make fun of me cause I say, you know, the pins are made in the USA, the hooks made in the USA, but it all fits a Chinese quick hitch, but uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it is what it is. I try to, I try to make that, you know, what I can here, you know? <laughs> yeah. You're, you're meeting a need, and, and at the same time, you're able to meet it by, you know, helping to provide jobs here. So nothing yeah. wrong with that. Yep. So they're all they're all cut out of uh, one-inch thick steel. The, uh, you know, that's the, the original hook is, like, it's an odd size. It must be some kind of metric steel or something they use overseas. Um, yeah. So this hook fits a little bit looser in the, in the uprights than the original hook, but functionally it's it's perfectly fine yeah interesting yeah so all right so yeah you definitely have some uh yeah new, and one of the new other, products yeah and one of the other things that um you might want to look at that again this is not tractor specific but a lot of the uh the accessories we have the chain and rigging accessories there uh, we sell a lot of um 
you know, we sell a lot of specialty hooks and stuff. These uh, twist lock hooks are very popular. If you used grab hooks, um, you know, on your chains and, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you hook it on your chain and as soon as you walk away or as soon as you start to move, the, the hook falls off. Yep. Um, it's happened. So these, 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 um, these twist lock hooks are, are super strong there. It's a three sixteenths thick metal latch that latches that hook uh, closed onto the chain. So it can't um, come out basically. It can't come out. Um, right. And there's a slip hook version of that. Um, you, we've, we've all seen the ones that tractor supply with the thin little metal latch and the spring and that, that little latch gets broken the first time you use the hook almost every time. Or right. you're putting it, or you're putting the chain on, and that little latch ends up between the chain links, right. and it gets stuck <laughs> on there, and you're fighting to get it off. Well, this completely swings out of the way. So, uh, and it's again, it's a heavy, it's a heavy piece of steel. It doesn't, it won't, it won't break. Um, nice. Yeah, those are those are really nice, uh, and we just sell a whole lot of little stuff like that, um, just to make, you know, just to make your work easier, you know. Well, and I, I think a lot of guys um, just don't know that this stuff is available, and so uh, right, I, right. I appreciate you coming on and kind of talking about them. And um, you know, I, I think this will be helpful for a lot of people. I need yeah. to make sure I need to put your uh, website back up um, so they know where to go to get hooked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, uh, next, we've tried to. We tried to fill a little niche market here with some specialty stuff. You know, we're, we try not to sell stuff that tractor supply sells or, you know, we're not going to try to, I can't compete with a store like that who buys, you know, tens of thousands of dollars worth of inventory. So um, we just stick with the little specialty stuff, a little bit more expensive, but, but it's, uh, it's, it's worth it when you use it, you know, uh, okay. like those little hooks, you know, they're 15 bucks a piece, but, you know, if it saves you from climbing on and off the tractor four times, it's probably worth it to you. Right. Uh, and you buy know. once and cry once. Yeah. 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 Um, and, you know, it's nice, too. Um, you can hook two chains together with those without worrying about it coming apart. So I like to have 10-foot chains on my tractor. I think they're they're easy to work with instead of 20-foot or 30-foot chains. But I can yeah. take two of my 10s and hook them together with one of those and not worry about that it's going to slip off or anything. So. Oh. Um, so there's a whole bunch of stuff on this page, you know, I'm going to grab a drink here. All right. Let me uh, pull that back up. I, um, yeah, I was yeah, a, ball dog plus. What, what is that? That's the thing that a guy invented. Um, so if you click on, if you click on that picture, it'll take you to the, We'll take you to that. I think they should be able to get bigger, that little uh, thing there. So this is a, a more of a hitch device, more of a recovery device. So that little thing will work if you can scroll down to the bottom of that. Um, right. Yeah, uh, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me. Um, yeah, there's a little reason figures. reason, it's zooming yeah, the, the, in. Yeah, the, yeah, that's what I want you to do. Zoom in on those little figures there. Okay. Right, yeah. So – that thing will slip over a like a hitch on a truck. So say you're, right, you're trying yeah. to pull a truck out of a ditch. Um, a yeah. lot of tow truck guys have these on their vehicles. So, you know, a truck's in a ditch or on the ice and they've got a hitch in the back of their truck, you know, the receiver, you can pop that onto the, to the thing and it securely locks on. It won't slip off like a chain would. Um, okay. And then you can hook a chain to the other end of it. Or if they That's don't have a receiver, you can slide the oblong ring in there and put a pin in and, hmm. and pull with that. Um, okay. So it's just a little, there's just a couple little attachments on there all on one, all on one device. Uh, right. And, and, you know, it's not a big seller, but a lot of guys like it. A lot of guys like to carry them in their trucks with a recovery strap. Um, I, I could see how it just g gives you some versatility to, to yeah. attach to yeah. the, Hitch right. there. Yeah, not really hey. tractor related, but that was a cool little thing. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, so cool. Just, uh, so that's one of the things. Yeah, if you just click back once, you'll go back to the other page. 
So that's, you know, like I said, we just have a lot of little specialty things like that, that we, uh, that we offer. Um, the little chain shortener. So that's a large one uh, right above that should be, should be a small, uh, there it is, a oh, small chain see. shortener. So I have a little video on my YouTube channel. People say, well, what's a chain shortener? So if you've ever, you know, you're trying to rig something up and your chain's too long and you're either trying to tie knots in your chain to shorten it or whatever, you can just hook this between links of the chain and effectively shorten the length of the chain by having this in the middle. Um, um, right. Yeah. And they're kind of oh. handy to have for 10 bucks. It's a little nice tool to have in your toolbox. Right. Um, definitely. Okay, cool. Yeah. So a bunch of little, bunch of little stuff like that. Well, I, I definitely recommend for everyone to uh, check, check out um, bolt on hooks.com. And then you just mentioned your website. So that's the uh, other um on YouTube, you're not not website, but your YouTube channel. Let me see. Right. I think I had it yeah. pulled up over here. Um, yeah, and also, yeah, that's our YouTube channel. So these are another thing we have is uh, I know I'm talking a lot, but those weight tools, those decompression tools. A lot of guys are finding those handy uh, when you're trying to reconnect your loader lines and their their hydro lock from pressure in the lines. Ah, uh, uh, yes. They and and so they can't reconnect them because the, the, yeah. they got hot in the yeah. sun. Yeah. And, uh, now, now I know Kubota has, um, you know, the females on the loader side. So this tool really isn't too helpful for the Kubotas because that only works on the male coupler. I see. Our, uh, our YouTube channel also is linked from our website. So if you go to uh, the favorite links, we have a few, you know, a few, uh, few of the tractor forms linked there and the YouTube channel and Facebook and stuff like that there. So, um, yeah, if you go up to the menu and uh, scroll down to you know, the bottom of the menu, uh, favorite links there. Okay. Yeah, we've got a couple of the popular tractor forms shown there. Um, like Orange Tractor Talks is the pop, you know, the, for the Kubota guys. And Green Tractor for the, you know, Artillion makes a lot of stuff. Uh, R2 Manufacturing makes the uh, little... Uh, the edge skid. tamers, yeah, yes. little skid things. Those are great if you have a gravel driveway and, and get snow. And uh, Muds Customs, you know, he uh, he makes a lot of specialty stuff for, for various tractors. So, so we we try to have a lot of information on here. Tractor Tim, I guess I need to put you on there one day. Hey, huh? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's all right. I know. Like I said, I, I you guys are are uh, uh, quite the team. You know, I've I've seen you in the videos. So well, I met Tim. Uh, I met Tim years ago before he was Tractor Time with Tim. At yeah. A tractor event, um, and we became friends. So we were actually. Uh, more than business associates, we're actually friends. So it's been a good relationship over the years. That, that's cool. He seems like a, a super nice guy, good family he guy. Is very so. genuine, very down to earth. Uh, if you watch any of his videos, you know he's very religious. And that's yes. uh, that's truer than true when you meet him in person. He's, a, he's real people, good people. Yeah, good. Well, I, I, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm going to try and keep these 30 to 45 minutes. So yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you uh, coming on and I'm glad that things are uh, going well, that business hasn't slowed down. I know when you joined the live feed, when we tested things out on my birthday, you yeah. were saying you, you're busier than ever. So that's great. Business has uh, exponentially increased the last month. It's been unbelievable. Yeah. I guess well, everybody's good. home. Everybody's home yeah. wants to spend money, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. And, and, and having to do projects around the house, I think, maybe. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate uh, the opportunity, Garrett, very much. I know I did a lot of talking. I'm, hopefully I didn't hog the, hog the air time for me, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, that that that's the purpose of these. Uh, trust me, I really prefer to just sit back and uh, okay. uh <laughs> and listen. So, all right. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to try and get this out um, in a okay. in a couple weeks, probably not this excellent. Thursday, but the next one. So, excellent. Uh, I'll, I'll be sure I'll to try and sure promote them. Yeah, excellent. All right, Garrett. Thank you very much for the opportunity again. We really do appreciate it. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> Have a good one. You too. Bye bye. Bye bye.